Hi everybody, it's Poppy. I built a new pulse motor. Don't have any idea what to call it. I guess it's an SSG. But the output is totally different. I have taken away the single diode from the output and put in the thing we call the voltage doubler to take its place. It's connected between the uh, positive of the run battery and the uh, collector on the transistor to give us our output. And I just started this uh, oh, maybe 15 seconds ago. The battery was at 11.76 uh, and it's now over 13 volts, 13.30. And as you can see, it uh, looks like it kind of pulses. And I believe that's because of the caps reaching a certain voltage and then dumping. Now, a rather interesting thing is it's drawing about 375 milliamps. I don't know if we can see this or not, but it's a little over 200 milliamps output. Let me get back in there real close. Maybe we can see it. Each one of those little marks is about 200 milliamps, so it's just slightly over the 200. If I can find another digital meter, I'll hook it up and see if I can get a more accurate reading. But it's a standard SSG with one coil. And I have uh, six three quarter inch neo magnets on the five inch rotor. And I'm using the uh, bearing out of a CD ROM. The coil is uh, 800, I believe it's 800. This is an older coil, so I may not remember correctly. I think it's 800 wraps first for the uh, run coil and then 400 wraps over that for the trigger. I'm getting plenty of trigger voltage. Now, another interesting thing, the uh, potentiometer on this thing is a 20K and it seems to regulate or adjust the motor a lot better than the 1 or the 5K. And let's see what our battery has done now. All right, it's up to 13, let's call it 34. Well, it's jumping around because of the way that the caps are dumping, but it, it charges real good. I'm getting decent output at over 200 milliamps with uh, now it's settled down to about 360 milliamps input, so it's fairly efficient. Good experimenting.